Hey guys, Katherine King here and today we have my quarterly club order for Scentsy. So I did not order a monthly club. Um, I just wanted to do a quarterly. There just wasn't enough for me to have two clubs and there wasn't, you know, two half prices that I wanted to get. So there are things, uh, sorry, there are things in here that I got just because I had a club order coming and then there's the stuff that I get um, that are, are in my quarterly club. So we're going to go ahead and go through that. And then I did get the whiff box. Yes, I do know what's in it. And I wasn't going to get the whiff box this month, but you know, I kind of thought about it. One of the products that's in it, cause yes, I like spoilers. One of the products that's in it is one that I was going to order as my half price. So I thought, well, I might as well just get the whiff box and you know, get the other stuff. So anyway, um, let's get started. So some of these I picked up two of. I'm going to try and dig out the items that um, I ordered just because I was placing a club order or having my club come. Okay, so that should be it. Um, there should be five bars. So I picked up Mint Fields. Uh, I did not smell this one the first time it came around last year because I had heard so much about it being um, really herbal and I didn't know if I wanted that. Plus I, I have a lot of mint in my club anyway, but I thought, well, I might as well pick it up and, and we'll see. I didn't get any of the rest of the, I think it's called the In Blooms or something collection. I only picked up Mint Fields. Oh, this is really nice, but you do get kind of that, yeah, you do get that after sniff of the spearmint plant itself. So if you've ever rubbed your hand on a spearmint plant, it does come away spearminty, um, but you also have that green note. And you definitely get that green note with this. It's I like it. We'll see what I think of it, you know, on warm, but so far I like it. Okay, then the other collection I got was the Honey Dukes collection. Uh, I didn't, I don't need the box. It's just going to go in recycling. To me, it's just a waste of paper. Um, I'm not a huge Harry Potter, you know, fanatic. Yes, I've watched the movies. I've never read the books, but for me, I'm like, but I wanted to pick up the, the four bars. So first one is the cauldron cakes. And no, I don't have the scent notes. Yeah, this one definitely does smell like pumpkin, like people were saying. It is a pumpkin bakery. It is really nice. And actually, I might compare it to the Delightfully Yours. Because I'm curious how, how close these two are. So, Cauldron Cakes, definitely a fall one. I picked up Fizzing Wisbees. Now, this one says it's supposed to have white chocolate in it. And I'm just not keen on, on chocolate in wax. But I thought I'd just pick up one bar of it. So... Oh, actually, it's, it's nice. There is a hint of that white chocolate, but I have a fan going. I don't know if that's changing how I'm smelling things, but I like it. I think I'll enjoy that one. I picked up two of the Sherbert Land, oh, Sherbert Lemon. You know me, and I absolutely love my lemon. If you are a lemon person, and you want a comparison, look up Robin H's video. She recently did comparing all the lemons that are out right now. She did a really, really good job. So, Sherbert Lemon. Mm, that, is, that is really, really good. Oh, that is like... All right, it does... It does seem a bit... It does seem a bit cleaner lemon. Not that I'm not here for it. I love all things lemon. I think it's really good. So love that one. And then I picked up. It's it's a exploding bonbons. Picked up two of those because it says it's a boom. And I'm like, what? Exploding bonbons. All right. Well, I think I like the lemon better. It is citrusy, but that one's just okay. 
I think out of the four, my favorite is definitely the lemon, but that's not a big surprise. So there's those. All right, now into what it normally hangs out in my club. I think there's like 50 bars. So I know it's a bit obscene, but it comes quarterly. Um, I pay for it out of my Sensi commissions. So for me, this is like paying myself back. That's kind of how I view it. So anyway, Peppermint Rush, one of my absolute favorite mints. It's just, there's just something so good about this one. It's, it's pepperminty, but like a clean peppermint. I know that sounds really bizarre, but oh, it just, it clears the sinuses, even like just breathe. You know, the fact that it has a combination of different things in it, sometimes I wish it was just mint, you know, and that's what this is. A beautiful combination of mints. Next one, I did go through my club and I did remove some bars that are licensed just because of the dollar increase over the regular bars. Um, but there were some I just wasn't willing to give up. This one, this is Aladdin Three Wishes. I may compare this one to Berry Bright. People say that they are quite similar. So I, I want to compare it because Berry Bright obviously is $6 versus the $7 for the Aladdin it's just so good it's like a beautiful yummy blueberry cotton candy is what it is and it's awesome I love it um but I will see how close it is to Berry Bright and and we'll see on that one of my favorite oh I think this one must be old it's um changed colors violet spun sugar look at so it's completely changed its color. I don't know if you can see it like I can. I mean, obviously the thing's tinted, but. This is one of my favorite, one of my favorite bars in the bathroom. I just love this bar. So that is, you know, a favorite bathroom bar for me for sure. I'm trying to keep my count, so. All right, make me snickerdoodle. So I have this one and I think another cinnamon kind of one. Actually, I think I have a couple cinnamon ones. There's something about make me snickerdoodle that I really enjoy. And I think this one mixed with apple butter frosting, which is in my club, or even the other um, toasted apple butter, I think would be fabulous. And I like the make me snickerdoodle better than the churro churro. That one was way too light, so I did remove that one, um, I think, after the last cycle. So, I love that one. I think it's fabulous. Okay, next one. Cranberry and cardamom. This was a favorite of mine in the fall-winter catalog. I only kept, you know, just a couple. Winterberry apple tea, of course, but um, only a couple from, from that catalog. But this one, I don't know. I just liked it. I think it'll be back, but... Just in case, because coming into this catalog, they didn't return two cents. Typically, they return all the new cents, but two of them didn't make it back from last spring, summer. And this one is just such a, a good mix of that cranberry and just that cardamom spice. It's, it's different. It's not like a, a cinnamony, you know, heavy kind of spicy scent. So I, I am definitely here for that one. Um, creme de mint. Another one of my mints that I love. This one is just so good. Mm. It's just creamy Andy's mint mint for me. It's fabulous. Love it, love it. Okay, next one, vanilla cream. Um, I have, what is it called? Very vanilla right here. Now that one is more of a body care kind of vanilla for me. Whereas this one is more of just a nice creamy vanilla, but it's not like super sweet, like butter or vanilla bean buttercream. Yeah, this one has a um, piece loose, but this one has more of a, a body care feeling to it versus the vanilla cream. So I have vanilla cream. If I ever need to kind of tone down a scent, I add vanilla cream to it. Lemon Lime Fizz, currently still available. Um, it's one I love. 
actually, let me see. Oh, so good. I just love that one. Oh, these are different for sure. Okay, so lemon sherbet seems stronger. But the lemon lime fizz to me seems sweeter. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm really limiting what I put in my club when it comes to licensed bars. So in all likelihood, I probably won't keep the Harry Potter ones in there. Um, Polar Bear Hug, it's another one I always carry over. And is seriously one of the most unusual scents. I mean, brown sugar and other random things that makes it not bakery. I mean, it's just, it's craziness, but I, just, I love it. It is it is very different. I don't like uh, Eskimo, or not, that, that was Eskimo Kiss. Um, Arctic Kisses? I don't know. Anyway, I don't like that one. I like Polar Bear Hugs. All right, King Cake. I'm, I'm still undecided on what I think about King Cake because it has that yeast note to it that I think I'm more fond of things that don't have that yeast note. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I keep it in there, but it is in there for now. So Winterberry Apple Tea. This is a staple for me or for my club. Basically, every time my club turns over or the catalog turns over, I always put this in my club. It's so good, I just love it. And it's funny, cause I don't or, you know, place a lot of just wax orders cause I have so much wax. So I probably only ordered one or two of those in the season, but then at the end of every season, I have to put it in my club. Um, perfectly cute. This one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep. It's a nice pair, but I think there is just that hint of floral in it. So my guess is I'll probably end up removing that one. Pineapple dragon fruit. I'm using this one in the hand soap right now. It is just this sweet pineapple. It's not that, that really sharp pineapple that kind of gives me a headache. It, to me, it doesn't have that sharpness. I just, I really like it. Really, really like that one. Next one, simply the zest. This one's a little bit harder to smell after some of those strong scents. Hmm. Yep, it's a little faint to smell. Hmm. Almost seems like there's a green note in there. I don't know. We'll see. I always try and reevaluate. Sorry, it's hot. I try and reevaluate my club before each shipment. So I remove some stuff out. Um, added obviously the Harry Potter and then before my next one ships I'll probably go through it again review see what's in it and see what I want to take out um, apple cherry strudel an absolute favorite and this one actually works really well for me on a work night since it doesn't oh, since it doesn't last very long um, it's perfect for at night because it comes on real strong I get this nice strong scent through the house and it's gone by morning but you know I'm usually okay with that Oh, it's so good. The mix of the apple and the cherry. Ah, uh, feeling punchy. This one's still in my club. I still have, I have a fragrance flower going now. I think I have one more. Oh, this is seriously one of my favorite orange punch scents. It's, it's just fabulous. I love this scent. And I know Michelle just took it out of her, of her club, but orange spice and everything nice. I really enjoyed this one because it wasn't overly spicy. It just was at that nice mix of orange and those winter spices. Yeah, I like that one. I think I have, I'm trying to think if I got this one in a brick. I think I got it in a brick. All right, pink sugarberry mint. This was the scent of the month for February, right after I started. So February of 21. It's hard to believe it's been three years. It's just, it's a bit sweet for me now um, than it used to be, but it's just, I think the nostalgia of it um, is what I love so much about it. Okay, Mint to be Merry. It's my third mint so far, right? Well, technically it's the fourth, but mint fields may not stay. 
This one is that buttermilk or buttermint cookies. Oh, so good. So good. That is a definite bakery mint for sure. Next one, pink rhubarb sugar. Very sad this one didn't make it back. Love it. It's in my club. I have like 20 odd pods of it. Oh, it's so good. I'm like digging up my nails into it. Mm. Love this one. Absolutely love this scent. It's sweet and fruity. There's no floral to it. And you know me and my hatred of florals in my uh, fruity bars. Okay, Rum Pum Plum. Since I can't have sweet plum pastry, I get me some Rum Pum Plum and I love it. So hopefully one day sweet plum pastry will come back and then I'll have both bars in my club. It's just this nice, deep, rich, beautiful plum. And you, on this one, you have a bakery note for sure. Next one, Toffee Butter Crunch. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I was debating back and forth on whether or not to keep this one in there, but oh, it's, it's just this creamy, beautiful toffee. Yeah, yeah, that one's going to have to stay. There's a couple of them I'm debating for next time. I'll let you know which ones. Cinnamon. I, I'm not sure how long this one will stay in, but... I, I like it. The mix of the cinnamon and the mint. I am here for this. Oh, that nose clearing mint in there mixed with that hint of cinnamon. To me, it's a hint of cinnamon. Love it. Uh, toasted caramel sugar. This one I'm not sure I'm going to keep because I have the toffee butter crunch and I like that one better, I think. Yeah. So I like that one better. This one is a really nice caramel. It is a nice caramel and they are different, but you know, I really have to sit and think, you know, do I really need all these bars? You know what I mean? Next one, rum raisin cookie. It's a beautiful, beautiful cookie scent. Oh, and you get the hint of those spices, but they're not like the red hot cinnamon spices. These are like clove and nutmeg baking spices. This reminds me so much of Thanksgiving and Christmas because of those spices that are in this. Heaven, pure heaven, pure heaven. Happy birthday. This one, it's a nostalgic one, right? Everyone wants happy birthday in their club, but it's just, it's an okay bakery. I can get a better cake from Vendor Wax than I can happy birthday from Scentsy. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it around um, because to me, it's just, it's just so, so. Vendor does that one a lot better. Uh, maraschino sugar cookie. I have two bricks plus I just ordered two more from a flash sale. What was it last month or the month before? Plus I have it in my club. I love this. And here I didn't think I liked cherry, but there's certain kind of cherries I like. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. Love it. It's not long lasting, but I love it. Be fabulous. This one's been out for a couple seasons now. It's, it's just, it's, it is a bit of a sharp fruit for sure. And no, I don't remember the scent notes. I am not that good. Uh, but I, I, I love it. What can I, it wouldn't be in my club really if I didn't. All right, so let's check this one out. I think there's only one, Frightfully Delightful. I wanna compare it to uh, the Cauldron Cakes. Okay, definitely pumpkin-y. Gosh. Okay. Okay, there's more spices in the Cauldron Cakes. Yeah, to me, there's more spices in the cauldron cakes, but there's definitely, I mean, it's, it's to me, it is for sure a fall blend. It's, it's not a spring blend, so it is a little odd that it came out, but maybe, you know, it, it's more along lines of what came out of, what was it called? Honey Dukes. I don't know, maybe. So I have a lot of the Frightfully Delightful. We'll see how long I end up keeping that one in club. 
This one stays because it's my daughter Lexi's absolute favorite, and that's Jack's Obsession. I had such an obscene um, quantity that I warmed it very heavily to get through because the bars get very ooey gooey. Oh, I, it is good, but it is a spice heavy apple spice blend. But since it's her favorite, I'll probably keep it around for her. Whipped, um, whipped vanilla pear. This one is very light. But, I mean, you, you do have to go heavy on it, so I may not keep this one around. But it's one of the only... They had perfectly cute. They had perfectly, perfectly cute. Oh, they had... They had a pear one in the last catalog. Ugh, I'm getting hot. I don't remember, but they don't put out a lot of pear scents. So in a way it's like, you know, here I'm gonna put my little fan up. Maybe uh, they need to put out some more pear scents, I don't know. All right, Cutie Pie Cupcake, one of my favorite orange cupcakes. It's not super strong, but it is super delightful. Mm, so yummy, Orange Bakery. And then, oh, I was hoping I had my next one. But anyway, everything nice. I do really like this one. And actually, I think I like this one better than I like the king cake. So I may end up keeping this one over king cake. So this one I like. I know some people had kind of a gross note in it. I wasn't one of those. So I'm lucky with that. White out. Yep, it's another mint. But this mint is different. This mint has, I think it said pear and like a tree note. It's just different. It's a more complex mint and I, I'm here for it. I warmed it not all that long ago and because I had to remind myself, do I, you know, want to keep that one or not? And I did. Dutch apple bread. Mm, I'm touching them with my mouth. Dutch apple bread. I really like this one. Mm. It's not super strong, but it is a very nice apple bread scent it's not yeasty like king cake it's not overly spicy like everything nice it's it's really good and this one mixed with apple butter frosting or toasted apple butter really really nice crumb top this one is a good add-on for me if i'm wanting to bakeify any kind of scent because it's a sweet streusel kind of topping that it doesn't like take over the blend it seems like it just kind of adds a, a bakery note to it so i'm here for that one toasted apple butter i do like this one i have apple butter frosting too but there's just something different about the toasted apple butter mm, it is it's very very similar but heavier on the spice with the t with the um toasted apple butter but I like it. Red, white, and berry pie. Another cherry fruity bakery. Mmm, but this one has like cherry raspberries and maybe other berries. I don't know. It's so good. It was, it was June or July scent of the month a couple years ago. I wish it had come back in catalog so everyone could experience, but it was so good. Dumbo Circus Parade. The only problem with this one is it so super light straight out of the, the gate? You have to, yeah, you have to let this one sit a while, but it is a very nice, um, kind of creamy, delicate kind of fruit note in that one. Monsters Inc. I am going to keep this one. So, oh, so this is like the, this one and we're all mad here. Um, I'm going to have to see if they're too, too similar because vanilla blackberry ended up being my absolute kind of like ride or die bathroom scent. I love it. It lasts forever, but it's too strong to be in my house. It'll give me a headache for sure, but there's something about this scent I just love. Oh, and, and this is like its little, you know, lightweight sister. I think maybe that's why I like it so much. And then we're all mad here is the same. They are extremely similar. I mean, seriously, smelling them back to back like that, I swear that they're identical, but I have them both. I may have to pick one or the other. Um, 
I'm trying to think I might actually have a lot of the um, the Monstropolis but I'll have to look all right vanilla walnut this one I don't like nut blends but there's just something different about this it's a really nice vanilla scent but you just had that hint of something else and to me it's not like it's a hint of a nut right it's just that hint of something else that I am here for it's really good and it's just a nice low-key easygoing set and I think that's why I like it so much cotton candy cookie so this one this one is so super light for me but it's one of Susan Fitzpat Fitzpatrick's favorite scents and I sent her or sold her I don't remember um, a whole slew of them because they work so well in her classroom and she's not teaching anymore so she works she has a different job and works from home so I don't know um, I might hang on to them or I might purely just keep it in my club because I adore Susan and I will um, I'll continue stocking up just for Susan um, she means that much to me that she loves it so it's just how I am if you're a friend of mine and I adore you I will do anything for you so all right, oodles of orange. Now this one. There's there's something je ne sais quoi about this one because there's no orange in it. It's orange fruit, right? But it smells like it has orange in it. And maybe there's oranges deep down in the notes. I'm not sure, but I am here for it. I love this scent. Now, do I love this scent as much as I love feeling punchy? No. But feeling punchy, you get almost that powdery tang kind of scent to it. Or if you've ever eaten chewable vitamin C's, you kind of get that, you know, powdery note. You don't get that one with, you don't get that with oodles of orange. But I love it. Watermelon patch. Love this. I love them all. I know I keep saying that, but it's just this watery delicious sweet almost like maybe if you were if it was possible to macerate a watermelon um and you just get that sweet sweet watermelon flavor i mean i love it absolutely love it this and uh watermelon mint are both fabulous uh watermelon mint needs to come back for sure i think it was, maybe it was Angie who was talking about that. We need to bring that one back. Clementine Cupcake, my other favorite cupcake scent. This one seems more cakey, and the orange in it is, it's Clementine, and Cutie Pie is orange, so maybe it has a little bit different of an orange note in it. But I like both of these better than I like Happy Birthday. All right, and then the last one. And I, this box was full. You know, the joy of the box in a box is my apple butter frosting. And I know this is a Scentsy video, but if you've um, never had the chance, um, Kay Scented Wax Melts did dupe this. I sent her a bar of this and she did dupe this scent. So if you um, are wanting to try apple butter frosting, give K Scented Melts a try and um, then you'll get to experience what apple butter frosting is all about. Because seriously, to me, it's an identical dupe. I mean, you can't get identical, identical. Um, but I sent her the bar. She sent me some. She sent Charity some. Um, I don't know who else she sent to say, hey, okay, here's, here's the bar. Here's my dupe. What do you think? So, and came out pretty good and move my fan okay so that's all the bars I have we'll see 15 30 45 50 54 bars sitting right there but remember some of those were um, I put in here just for for this go around potentially now let's do the whiff box so I already know, like I said, I already know what's in the whiff box. If you don't want to know what's in the whiff box, today is the 8th of the month. So if you've been trying to avoid the, um, um, if you're trying to avoid the spoilers, then go ahead and turn off and thanks for hanging out. But let's go ahead and get into this. 
So the box is this year's cleaning box. So they always put out, you know, just kind of talking about um, this. And every year they put out a cleaning box. Um, kind of like a, you know, welcome to spring, let's clean your house type thing. So the one thing I was going to get more of was the Scentsy Swipes. So instead, I saw that they were coming in the box, so that's why I decided to go ahead and get the box. So here we go there. I'm gonna do the bars last. Um, I am not a huge proponent of their dish soap, but we did get a dish soap in the Pink Sunshine. To me, their dish soap does not cut down grease like Dawn does. So um, while I have a really nice smell, it's not going to cut grease. And, and this is my opinion. This is my use. So um, this is why I'm just not a huge proponent of the dish soap. I, it's pretty expensive. It's like, what, 10 bucks or something. Um, I spent 12 on my Dawn this last weekend for a really large thing of it. So, okay. And then this one, I was like, eh. It's bathroom cleaner, which I love our bathroom cleaner, but it's in bamboo or banana leaf and bamboo and I hate fresh scents. So at least it's just the bathroom cleaner, right? Spray it on. It works so good on soap scum. It's, it's fabulous. I do like our bathroom cleaner. Okay. Now the two bars that came in the box. Okay, so this one, they said it's a, I was watching Lisa Roberry. She says it's a scent coming up, but I don't know what collection. I, I must have spaced what collection. I'm wondering if it's the Cinco de Mayo collection, but it's key lime and grapefruit. And Cinco de Mayo, that would kind of make sense that this would be a Cinco de Mayo scent, you know, key lime. You know, I love me some street tacos. And I always load that up with lime and cilantro. Oh, that is good. Oh, and then one of the Bring Back My Bars coming up is Lime and Sugar Cane. Very excited for that. Oh, this is really, really good. It's light on the grapefruit. I'm not a huge proponent of grapefruit. It's just a little sharp for my head. But this, this is really good. That is definitely lime. All right. Bloomin' Marvelous. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to be hella floral. Actually, it's not bad. It's not really strong at all. It actually smells really good. It's a very light, delicate floral. It's not powdery and it's not heady. It's just this, yeah, it's just a really nice, ugh, delicate floral. So, not bad. Um, wow. That's a lot of bars. Um, I'm already out of room in my bookshelves, but I also put loaves and other things on the shelves. One of these days I'll film in front of it so you can see. Um, it looks kind of like Angie Smith's. Um, mine are just bigger. Uh, she's like, oh, I wish I had bigger ones, but she's out of space where she's at. So, um, I ended up having to get two large bookshelves. I have that much Scentsy Wax. Um, but... Anyway, I'm happy with my order. I'm glad it's only quarterly. Like I said, I'm really cutting down on um, my wax buying. I have one pre-order out. It should, I'm hoping, start shipping next week. Um, and then I think I'm done ordering wax for a while. I just have to, you know, watch my pennies right now. So, and it's not like I don't have enough wax, right? So if my house blows up, it's going to smell really good while it's doing it. So thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.